Hello, and thank you for joining me on 8 I Am Maggie. And so I have finished the creativity challenge that Brian Scott gave to us with the Reality Con 3, but I'm still having all these creativity, just these thoughts and um, sometimes my own things, but um, I'm just going to kind of share with you. We are getting ready to unpack or put to bed 2022. And so as we are kind of moving forward um, to 2023, this is um, uh, one of the, the last two days of the year. It's actually less than 48 hours now. But I just want you to like look at what you have going on and what you intend to allow to go and what you would like to create. And in that um, vein of releasing and creating, I wanna share this thought with you. So, and this is Hafiz. I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in the darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. So let me read that to you one more time. I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in the darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. So, you know, we are all inspired by each other in positive and ne negative ways, wherever you want to say it. But on this channel, I'm really trying to spur you towards the positive end of the temperature, the spot positive end of the spectrum. And one of the things, you know, you've heard me refer to reality revolution. I've also found this in um, the International Reality Transurfing Good, the uh, Transurfing Group. I've also found this in the School of Imagination. I've also found this with Ms. Horowitz teachings. I've also found it with Joe Dispenza. I've also found it with Pastor Joseph Prince. I mean, the ability to tap into the light of your beautiful being is endless. And also, at the same time, while you are studying with um, Brian Scott or whoever your teacher is, it's kind of helping you evolve from the volcano of yourself. Remember that no matter how lonely you may feel or the darkness, that there is the beautiful light of your being. Remember that you're on this journey. And in this journey, not only are you being, you know, if the student's ready, the teacher will appear, but also many of us are teachers of some sorts too. And we are here to uplift humanity. We are here to shine our light like, you know, Lisa and Godman and so many, Tammy and Sparkle and so many, Chloe. I could just, Brian, um, Josiah, I could just keep going on. But we are here to shine our light into some of the darkest places. And so many people are going through um, transformations. Um, they are, you know, withdrawing into a place for healing. Um, sometimes in these places they can be lonely or they can feel like there's a darkness that has come upon the land or upon their soul. But I just want to remind you that within these transformations, these dark places, I want to remind you of the astonishing light of your being, and that is your natural state. And so as we are tucking 2022 away, look at what might need to flow away and what may need to, what you want to will or intend for this new year of 2023. And just remember that you have come here in this point of history for this perfect time as this, to help the world, to shine your light, to help others who may be in a dark place or a lonely place. Uh, we are here to heal ourselves and others, but also to give the gift of our service in balanced, healthy ways. So I just wanted to encourage you with that as we are kind of rolling down to the last few hours of 2022. We are grateful to, for 2022 for all the growth, 
all the challenges, all the contrast, all the all that it brought. And we are so grateful to make every day new. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new year. We want to come forward it, knowing that we have a purpose, we have a plan, and we have something to give the world. And that we want, in light of this, we want to take action. It doesn't have to be perfect action. In fact, as you begin, to turn, my channel is a perfect example. You can see there's not glam, there's not glitz, there's not a, you know thumbnails and everything yet. But as I evolve and I begin to step forward, I'm learning more and more every day. And just that process of stepping forward, it's going to lead into bigger and bigger opportunities. It's going to help me learn how to find my voice, what I'm here to help other people do, um, the types of classes I'm gonna be teaching and the way forward. So I wanna encourage you that we're all in this journey to death together. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your support. And when you do get a chance, hit subscribe and like and leave your positive comments. And you know what's next. Peace in, peace out.